All right. Well, welcome. I am in um, Panther Town Valley in the Nanahala Ranger District, and got some bugs flying around me. Sweat bees. Haven't even started really sweating yet. It is humid. There are storms about periodically. Hopefully most of them move through my car. And I'm hoping to do, I don't know, some camping and some hiking in Panther Town. And um, stay safe for 48 hours. Come home on Saturday. It is Thursday afternoon, 5 o'clock. And so I need to get underway so that I can get to um, possible campsites down in the valley, which is the destination. So this is the road. I came that way. I'm going this way. And I should be, um, should find Turkey Knob Trail going off to the left. Yep, right up there it looks like. So I'll keep y'all with me on this first part. I mean, this area already is gorgeous, without question. But it's also very remote, and I'm solo backpacking. And um, so, yeah, this is probably the the most isolated and on um, you know stuff like that I've been for a while so is this my trail I believe it may be let's see what it says up here and I'll just get into trail mode and start hiking turkey knob yes closed motor vehicle equipment all right Onward. So the Turkey Knob Trail has essentially been uphill, but it has had some um, switchbacks, which I appreciate. They're pretty gorgeous with fern on one side, rhododendron on the other. This is all second growth forest and because uh, all of it was clear cut but it's definitely coming up beautiful places and the light up ahead lets me know that there's a ridge line or something up here so all right we'll continue so I've been going along this portion through these Kind of like roto tunnels like I just was in. And now it's opening up. The clouds are blowing off. I got some sunlight coming through. And I'm hoping before too long that I might get my first first view of Panther Town Valley. We shall see. I'll definitely keep you posted. Well that's one way. <laughs> and that's the other way. And I'm under the power line. And I came from there, and I'm going here, but I'm going to pause first and look at my map, because now I know exactly where I am. This power line cuts the valley in half. This power line road headed towards Sassafras Gap. That is Turkey Knob Trail, which I just finished. This is the other end of power line road, and this is my destination, which is the Black Rock Trail which goes up a ways to the top of Black Rock Mountain, and that's where I'll have my view. It's really beautiful and quiet. I can just hear the breeze, occasionally a drop of rain coming off a leaf from the past showers. And I think, judging from the ridge line, the light up here, I'm moving up to Black Rock Mountain. That should be nice. But, uh, as beautiful as all this is, and as pretty as it is, 
it is equally humid, as you may be able to tell from my face. Okay, definitely drinking a lot of water. Check out the shelf fungus on those trees, on that tree trunk. It's dead. Wow. Those are monsters. Those are probably 12 inches across or more. Very cool. I finished, didn't finish. I got off of the Black Mountain Trail. I'm right now on the peak of Black Mountain, but I'm on the Overlook Trail. It heads down to a place called Purdy Place that everybody has told me about. And I can see through the trees that this trail opens up a lot on the right and ahead. It's a pretty place. I think will be my long-awaited first view of Panther Town. All right, two hours of walking. And I think I'm on the verge of reaching Pretty Point. Oh, hell yeah. Wow. 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 Atmospheric clouds. I believe that is Big Green Mountain. That should mean somewhere over here is Little Green Mountain. <sighs> or maybe that. Yeah, that's Little Green Mountain. breathtaking. That's got to be big green and I would think that's little green but it has more exposed rock so the wall must be going on the back side over there so I still have some hiking to do before I go down. I am going to orient myself with the map. And take a selfie? Why not? Hey, I opted for the Powerline Road again. And what it is, is tons of lichen and moss and a solid bed of road. I mean, a solid bed of rock for the road. This is solid granite. And I've been walking down this sheet of granite for quite some time. So, pretty impressive geological structures here. All right, coming up, yeah, big old mud puddle it looks like, but fortunately I think I can get around it. All right, hey bear, coming through. My voice is getting hoarse from saying that, but I'm not going to stop. So I'm still in hurry mode, going down Powerline Road, but it's really kind of changed here as I'm getting closer and closer to the valley bottom and the valley bottom is opening up more and letting in more light which is really nice I'm pretty excited about that and this wow that's my first campsite I like it let's check it out Horses have been here. Yeah, this is literally the first campsite I've seen. Plenty of trees. Fat old trees. Not a whole lot of wood, I imagine. A nice fire ring. Good seats. 
All right, I need to check out and see where I am and put this one on the map. I found a beer box. All right. And there's a bridge. And here's a trail. Let's see what trail this is. Looks like another campsite there. All right, Panther Town Valley Trail goes that way. And that is Powerline Road. Panther Town Valley Trail goes this way. And there is a bridge. Oh, nice. I have no idea what creek this is. It's beautiful. But I do know that I'm going back and I'm going to camp at one of those sites because I'm going to lose daylight soon. Nobody's in the sites. I got a beer box and I can stick my all my food in there tonight. And hallelujah, look at this. I even have sun coming in. That's a beautiful omen. I'm going to take that as an omen. And here's a beautiful creek. Alright. So this may be the back way to that first campsite. In the trees. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yep. This is the first campsite in the trees. All right, so I just need to... Oh, well, it looks pretty clear. Find a good tree hang. Well, I did have that burst of beautiful light, which I'm taking as a good omen. And there's still light coming in down here because I'm in a valley. And I get light, which I really, really like. And I had enough time to completely set up my tarp. Now, this is not in super thunderstorm blowing mode, but I don't think that's really what we're expecting anyway. The sun is setting in Panther Town. And the sky. Ah, oh, I got some pretty clouds up there. I hope I hope the color comes out. Kind of pinkish and white. Beautiful evening here. I'm sure it'd be great from up at Pretty Point and anywhere else. But the camps are down here. Which is why I'm down here. So, a little triangle sleeping behind me, walking out to the road, the trail, well actually it's called the road. Down there around the corner beyond the creek is the bear box, and I set a trail cam up there, which so far has only probably caught me walking there to wash my hands. And then over here, the other point of my triangle, is the other campsite which I did not use, and which I am using instead for cooking, which is what this is about. Ugh. Gotta say, it's one of those first nights where we get to camp, you're tired, food just doesn't seem like a good thing, but it is. And having made two cups of it, now I gotta eat it. Whew. It's a chore at this point. Hopefully, if I'm lucky, hopefully if I'm lucky I'll catch some fireflies <coughs> on camera because they're beginning to come out, which is cool. Oh, 
me strength. The glow of light in the distance is my lantern in my campsite. The sounds you hear are whippoorwills if you hear them. Well, good evening. It's um, 9 30, 9 45. I have my um, bag and food and all of that stuff in the bear box. And my camp is, I think, scent free aside from me. <laughs> I'm sure I smell. Um, did about 5.3 miles, something like that today. So, not a big day. But it was good. 